afternoon, morning, evening, guys. Out here with the new camera, trying to get acquainted to it. Seems to be working pretty well. I was uh, digging down, and this here is my hole. This is just where there's no grass, and there was a little bit of grass here, so I put me a small plug. But I was it was trash what I was going after, but I uh, hit something with my shovel that was pretty deep, and then I ended up finding this old pottery. It's, it's just two shards of it down there. But this side, you might be able to see it on camera. It's got letters on it. Man, so I wish I could find that. But no such luck. I dug around in there with my hands and I couldn't find anything. There's a little mark or a letter. But pretty old, pretty cool find. All right, guys. Hey, guys. Still out here doing it. Was getting a jumpy 65 to 67, and it was actually hanging out around there. When I dug down, I found this piece of melted uh, copper, maybe? Um, I'm not sure if I have uh, stumbled upon the old properties like uh, trash burn pile, because I know they used to do that back in the, the you know, around the time this house was built. But I'm not sure. I like At first I thought it was like an old toy rabbit or something. But it is definitely just melted copper or brass or something. Next right, signal. Guys. Ringing up at a solid 85. And I am happy to say that we have found a beautiful tiny washer. <laughs> Over here in the next hole. Not too far from where we were at. We were somewhere in this area just now. I uh, unplugged the headphones because I want you guys to uh, hear this uh, tone. I think this is a penny, and this is how pennies are ringing up out here. Oh, get help if I unmute it. Now that one's obviously deep, you can tell by the sound. But if you look, that joker's getting all the way up to like 85. So let's uh, dig down together real quick and see what we got. Oh, so I hit it right there. Let's see. What should not be a penny? Well, it's in here somewhere. There it is. And it is not a penny. It looks like maybe maybe a piece off of an old, well, it just broke. Just trash. Well, we tried, guys. So we're going to play a little game. Uh, we're going to switch things up a little bit because it's 117 degrees out here and I'm melting. So let me turn you around real quick. We're going to play what is that sh little thing in the hole. Now, I'll give you a hint. It was ringing up in between a 65 and a 72 jumping around. Now, as I put you in closely, you can see that whatever it is is giving us the edge and it looks rather thick. I don't know if that's going to be a weedy or a button or an Indian head. Those are my three options. What do you guys think? Let's find out together. Oh, I was so wrong. <gasps> guys, I'm so glad I did this on camera. I've got a ring. I've got a ring, guys, and it is old. Oh, Lord. Looks like it would be a kid's ring. 
and I think there is writing inside it. Let me get this cleaned up, guys. I don't think this is silver or anything like that. Because um, how dirty it is. But it's super old, so that's a cool thing. And it's my first ring that I found. Pretty cool find. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Close-ups coming. Getting another tone where I just pulled that little... Uh, play ring out from i think it's a play ring i have to get it cleaned up but anyway i'm going to uh do it again live because it's right there um so I, let me yeah let me sift oh i feel it oh i think it's a coin folks but it was getting it Oh, that's no coin. What in the world? It says... From what I can read, it says Memorial Pendant. Somebody took their stuff off and laid it right here to go swimming in this lake. Up teen zillion years ago. Alright, guys, let me get this brushed off. And I'll get some close ups. Hey, guys. So it hit me um, that these two things go together. Now, right there at the top of that ring, that flat surface, let me sit it over there and show you real quick. This little thing would have stuck right there, I believe, on that ring, because it is the perfect size, maybe with some adhesive or something like that. But it says, Benjamin Franklin Memorial. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hey, guys, over here at the next hole. Was getting a, believe it or not, it was actually like a 93, man. I, I thought for sure that I had some something good. And it might be, but when I dug down, this is what I found. I haven't found anything like it. It reminds me of a, of a bullet because of the weight and stuff, but it's not by any means a bullet. If you look, you can see down in the little top of it right there. But it's heavy for its size. It's, it's This end is solid and it's got a little notch right there. It was, you know, four or five inches deep. Let's see if there's anything else in there. Oh, well. Maybe that's not what I was... All right, guys, let me uh, dig in here and see what that is. False alarm, guys, nothing good. Thanks for watching. Doing this little strip of area right here along the, the driveway, I was getting a good high 70 tone. When I dug down, got this old weedy. And this uh, sand is actually really forgiving for, to, this, uh, to these coins. So let me uh, clean it off here and see if I can get a date. Looks like we got a 1955. I don't know if you can see that with this camera or not. Another weedy for the collection. So I got that weedy right here where my left foot's at by the shovel. And I was getting another tone over here. And I thought it was going to be a weedy spill. Because uh, it was get, giving me around the same tone. But when I dug down, I don't know if you can see it. This is a very, very old uh, master lock key. And I've never seen one like this with this... Uh, this font so I'll be able to get a date and stuff on this because this is an oldie master lock co get out right, here guys. getting ready to wrap it up was getting a good 68 
you know, jumping up to around 72, but I could tell that it was real deep because all but one of the depth bars were full. Um, and I got to digging down and it was right at the base of this tree, so it was not easy to get to. So let me show you. When I was digging down, I couldn't find it with the pinpointer, so I knew it was real deep. I finally found it back in here. You might be able to see it. It looks like a penny. But I don't know which what it is. So I'm, it's probably a weedy because of how high it was ringing up. But I'm going to clean it off right here and let's see if we can see it together. I'm rubbing it. It's copper. It's not going to hurt it. Okay, yeah, it's just a weedy. Well, let me check, because I would uh, be very surprised if I just pulled a... What? Wow. Y'all seen it here first. I don't normally film these, but uh, it won the show on this one. Check out that bad boy. I wonder what year that is. That joker was ringing up, too. Man, that's almost as deep as I found that Indian. That is just crazy. I'm seeing like 60s, so that's probably what it is. All right, guys. Hey, guys. Out here at the next hole. Going to have another mystery for us. I was getting a penny tone, 67 up to 70. And then when I pulled the plug, it started getting a little bit louder. But when I dug down, I don't know if it's a an old rim or a wheel off of a toy car or what that is. Inside sure is sharp as heck though. Alright. The hole. The stinking Lincoln. Hey guys. Over here at the next hole. Was just about to take it back to the house. Lunch break's ending. I like getting a little hunt in on the lunch break. It just, you know. I always seem to find something really cool. I was getting a really, 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 really faint signal. It was ringing up as like a 65. So when I dug down, you can see... There's the plug. It was at the foot of this tree. There's the plug. There's the shovels, you know, full of dirt. This thing is, you know, a little, 10 inches deep. When I finally found it, so far, I think I've got a old pocket watch. And I have never been lucky enough to find one of these before. I think it's still got all the, uh, the gears inside it. It's got a little top piece. It's definitely very, very old. I think it's all there except the glass. That's so cool. All right, guys, I'm going to get it cleaned up. And, uh, and if it has any designs or anything like that on it, I'll show you up close. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, just wanted to do a quick wrap up of the item, the good items from this video. I'm not showing everything, just the three main things that I think are good finds. Here we got this, and it came out of the hole in two pieces like this. I found the ring first, and then the little plate that goes on top. But it says Benjamin Franklin Memorial. And it's kind of got a gold color to it. I don't know if it's just gold plated or what. Or just gold coloring. But pretty cool find. It's my first ring. And it's a real old one. Um, next, got this key that says Master on it. It's an old relic. I mean, it's I've never seen them written in this font. And it's from uh, the 30s and 40s. After I did a little bit of research, I found that out. And there it is. All right, and last but not least, guys, is this uh, pocket watch back. Now, I tried to clean the inside of it up as good as I could to see if there was a patent date on the inside or something like that, but I was not lucky enough to find anything. Um, just going by, you know, the ball and this little thing here where you can adjust it, 
um, where I found it, you know, and a couple other factors. I'm thinking that this is pre-1900. Um, I found this under and over to the side of where I found that Indian, and it was four inches deeper. You know, if this would have been a coin, I would not have gotten it. It just, you know, goes to show all the stuff that's too deep out there for metal detectors. Because I almost wasn't getting a signal from this at all. And then I thought it was just a chirp from iron because there was actually a nail above it in the hole. So, but after I pulled the nail out, I, tried, I went over it again and it was you know, sounding strong. So I went after it. And I'm glad I did. It's really old. Alright guys, go down there and like and subscribe if you haven't, and I really appreciate everybody watching. Thanks.